Hi everyone. Um, to measure and assess professional identity is important. It's interesting. Uh, today I'm going to show you two ways that we are engaging in this kind of study at, at, at Denver Law. Um, first of all, we draw a distinction between professionalism and what we call professional identity formation. Uh, the, the, the second category, identity formation, is a, is a wholer, a, a more fuller look at professionalism. This is a distinction developed by our colleague David Thompson in the back of the room. So, so we, play, we pay close attention to that. Now, one of the places where we study and assess professional identity formation is our excellent externship program, um, guided by past director Ann Vessels and current director Lexi Freeman. At the beginning and at the end of each externship, students um, answer a questionnaire. Six of the items David and I looked at and identified as relating very directly to professional identity formation. Using these six items, we build a scale called Professional ID Formation Index. Now, again, the students answer these questions at the beginning and at the end of their externship. Now, I showed you some of this data last year. I'm going to build on it a little bit more today. Uh, so these are students who graduated in the spring of 2015. Some did one externship, one did, some did two, some did three. Here is the thing I'm interested in. When you start your second externship, you start at a higher level. You learn something during your first externship and you're taking it with you. I call this the externship effect on professional identity formation. Um, I've seen this happen now for two consecutive graduating classes. I have real confidence that it's really going on. Now, what about other places in the law school where you would learn professional identity formation? Um, uh, I, I wanted to test whether it's externships that are really contributing to this. So the way that I did this was I looked at that key measure. That's the beginning, the, the, the pre-score on the index for your first and your second externship. And I looked at it for two L's and three L's. Now, if something else in the law school is contributing mostly to it, three L's ought to be a lot more higher than two L's. Students who are doing their second externship in their 3L year ought to be more advanced, and they're not. So this is more evidence that externships are really contributing to this development of professional identity formation. To me, it makes great sense that we would get our students into externships early, even as early as the summer between their 1L and 2L year. It just looks to me like they, it is contributing greatly to their professional identity formation. Now, one of the things we noticed is that if you remember back to the original graph, from, from the first one to the second one, it goes up. From the second one to the third one, it doesn't go up. Maybe we're missing a chance here. Maybe we need to do a little more pedagogy when people start their second externship to get them, um, uh, to, 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 to get them ready to enhance their identity for, for formation during their second and third externships. Another place I'm studying uh, professional identity formation is our excellent transactional clinic run by Professor Patience Crowder. Uh, these students do uh, entity formation and other business law tasks for startups in, in the city. Um, uh, I, I interviewed Professor Crowder's students at the end of last academic year. I also interviewed former students now in practice. And I had a really tight 20-minute open-ended interview schedule. Um, I asked them questions about the student learning outcomes in the clinic. I found four categories of answers. First is communicating with clients. Um, and I really like these, these first two because lawyers become valuable when they can see the world through their clients' eyes. And clearly our clinic students understood the importance of this. Um, so on many of the tasks, students work with a partner in the clinic. And so a second area of communication is with their co-counsel. And I really like this one. Students told me that they could understand and appreciate different work styles. Instead of disliking how somebody else works, they came to appreciate it and understand it. This one is super important. A young attorney has to learn how to use effectively time with the supervising attorney. And this is something that our students told me they were picking up in the, in the clinic. One of the former students now out in practice said she was way ahead of everybody else starting at her firm in this area simply because of the work she had done in the, in the clinic. Category four is time management and handling workflow. What I like about this is there's, a, there, there's like a continuum between very specific things and very general things. Um, these are things that our students are learning in the clinic. Um, I also asked them 
What was something that you worked on throughout the year? Something that you identified as was important and you decided you would become better at? And I got some great answers. Professor Crowder believes in what she calls reflective self-learning. And these answers are examples of how that's working. Like students really are learning how to understand their role as attorneys and how they must continue to learn in, in the profession. Uh, what are we going to do with this data? Well, we turned it in, we, we turned these answers into a close-ended questionnaire that we will administer to the clinic students this year. We will give it to them three times, shortly, like in a couple weeks, uh, once again, early in the spring semester, and then at the end of the year. And this will give us a firmer way to track development in these areas. ETL's foundation study is excellent. It gives us so much to work on in this area of professional identity formation. We at Denver Law uh, look forward to incorporating and applying the findings from that study in our future um, measurement and assessment of professional identity formation. I thank you.